Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Orphan Last, aka Skylar Madison, and today we're going to focus on an alternative way to animate the camera. This is a technique that is not how Open Tunes was designed in terms of how to animate the camera. But one of the leading complaints about my last video is that all of the keyframes are only localized inside of the function editor. You can't see any of the keyframes inside of the X sheet, and thus isn't as visual, isn't isn't as hands-on and isn't very intuitive. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate your camera to show up on the X sheet, how to see those keyframes on the X sheet, and how to make everything far more visual, hands-on, and intuitive. So, as you can see, I got rid of all my camera animating in the function editor, all that work that I did in the first OpenTunes camera animating tutorial is now all gone, just for you guys. Now the first thing that we're going to do is create a new level and name it CAM, C-A-M, to abbreviate the word camera. Then we extend the first level to the full extent of the animation, or as far as you want to animate it to. Now let's put a drawing on this level. Ultimately it can be any shape that you want. Personally I like working with a rectangle and I like trying to make it the exact same size as the camera itself. I then create a new style. I name it Cam and once again the color can be anything you want but for the purpose of this video I settle with a nice blue color. Next thing that we're going to do is go into the animation tab where the stage schematic is located. Normally the camera 1 node is placed right underneath the table node. Move the camera node right next to our cam column then parent the cam column to the camera 1 node. Now, check this out. If I were to fill this rectangle I made earlier with a color and then go into the preview mode, suddenly there is this issue where the camera literally can't see anything because I've completely covered up the camera with that fill. But if I click the yellow box at the top of the X sheet, suddenly it's hidden from the preview mode. So it will not render if the yellow box is turned off, be it in the preview mode or in the final render. If I turn off the preview mode, we can still see it's filled, but back in the preview mode, we can see that the fill is not visible. That's what we want. We want this camera hidden from the camera. We just want it to be the camera. So I'll get rid of that fill by pressing Control Z. I still have the rectangular outline, so I'm going to err on the side of caution and keep it hidden from the camera. One of the cool things about this is that you can draw a grid onto your camera for the rule of thirds or draw the golden spiral onto your camera so that you can create artistic points of interest. This can be a really cool reference while animating your camera and it won't even be visible to the camera because we've hidden it from the camera. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to use that. So now that we have the cam column and the camera one node parented together, we can go through a very similar workflow as we did in my last tutorial on this topic with a few visual aids that weren't available last time. Select your edit tool and make sure that it's set to position and also that it's set to work with cam and not camera one. And let's start by moving this sucker and scaling it down and just generally positioning it to the right spot. And once again, when you scale a camera down, you're zooming in. Now, just really quick here, just look at the cam column on the X sheet on frame one. Notice that there's this little gray keyframe visible there. That's something that wasn't available in the technique I showed in my last tutorial on animating the camera. Now go to the bottom of the animation on the X sheet, get your edit tool out, 
and move it to where the camera will rest at the end of the animation. Position it, scale it, do what you need to do. When I play the animation, everything is looking rather bland, so let's find a good position to make a change in its animation and adjust it accordingly. In this case, I'm just going to scale it up and position it higher. Notice how this has created yet another keyframe on the X sheet. At this point, I tick through the animation frame by frame and notice that it exceeds past my ceiling, which is a potential immersion breaker. So some additional refinements are needed with my newest keyframe. I don't even want the slightest potential of breaking the immersion. So I keep refining it until the animation preserves immersion. So just before the end of the animation, I want to have a new keyframe, and so I use the edit tool. And I adjust it and test to see if I can keep the immersion with this change. In the end, I find that the changes I make just keep breaking the immersion. So I control Z a few times, but I still want a keyframe here because soon I want the camera to rotate at the end of the animation. And I want the rotation to start from this point on. So with the edit tool, I move the position ever so slightly so that I can have a keyframe as a point of reference on my function editor. I then go into the animation tab and on the function editor, I can see camera one in there from my last tutorial. And since I don't want to animate camera one, I want to animate my cam column. I right click on camera one on the function editor and a small drop down menu appears. I click on show animated only. And on the bottom right of the function editor, I select column two cam. So that's my cam column. So now I find my newest keyframe near the end of the animation on my function editor. Now the north, south, east, west values here were just placeholders. So I can delete them by selecting them and pressing delete. Or in this specific case, you can just press control Z. And the values in the X sheet are replaced with OpenTunes' auto in between values. So I double click on them and press enter to preserve their values, but also to create the keyframe. So I go to the last frame, rotate it with the edit tool and position it to my liking. When I scrub through the animation, I can see that the entire animation now has this stupid rotation that I just applied. This is a problem, but fortunately, our newest keyframe has been made as our point of reference. So we find the rotation information and revert it to a zero value by double clicking, pressing zero, and pressing enter. So now I review the full animation and I can see the preservation of immersion is there and the rotation takes place as desired. But here's something to note. If you go into the preview mode, we can see something weird might occur using this technique. As you can see, right where the camera starts to rotate, there's some strange white borders around the camera. I don't know if this is just a random glitch or something to do with my graphics card, if this is just something that's exclusive to me, but this issue may occur for other people, so I'm uh, that's why I'm mentioning it. But don't worry if this happens to you, because this really isn't even an issue at all. Because although this may occur in the preview mode, it will not occur in your final render of the scene, and I'll prove it to you. So I go to File, Output Settings, I see it's set to MP4, and will output to my desired file location, and I press Render at the bottom of this pop-up window.
Okay, so it just finished rendering, and so I open up my new animation with the camera movements that I just made. It plays the entire animation, and we can see that there's no point where white borders appear. Alright, so, I, I need to actually provide a little bit of a special thank you, special thanks to Adam Earl, who is a professional animator, who actually uses open tunes on a regular basis inside of his studio. And, to my knowledge, this technique that that I just taught you is something that is of his creation so if you guys ever run into him be sure to give him a big thank you anyways that pretty much concludes it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and if you didn't like it please like share and subscribe anyways hope you guys have a great day